Hi, this is Linda Perry. I wanted to just show how to get started with uh, the Greek Words User Book class. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead and make a desktop. So to do this, I'll click on the Desktop tool and Create Desktop, and we're calling this one Greek Words User Book. And just start with an empty desktop, and then click on the OK. Now you'll see it up in the upper left-hand corner, Greek Words User Book. First I'm going to set up a window with some resources in it. So I'll click on View and check mark the resources to get over to my library. And I'm going down to the Word Studies folder. And the first thing I'm going to take is Strong's Concordance and then Strong's Talking Greek Hebrew Concordance and then another word study book and I'm going to use the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. If you have a different one then you could use that one. If you have one that you like a lot that you've used for the New Testament uh, for the Greek then you could go ahead and use that one. And then any other Greek um, resources that you want you could put into this window. I'm going to just start with this and then I need to get the word list which I have attached in the materials with this class. So if you don't have um, this list from the Complete Biblical Library, if you don't have the Complete Biblical Library, the, the list of words is in the materials in your email. So I'm going to go ahead and open it onto the desktop. Okay, that's all I'm putting in this window. Now I'm ready to begin making a user book. So I'll minimize this window for right now. And I'm going to go up to File and Create, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, File, New User Book. And I'm creating a, a user book by words. You can make three different kinds of a user book. One is a commentary type that's synced by Bible verse. So when you put a new article in, it's going to treat it like a ver uh, Bible reference. Another one is by date. So you would put the days January 1, January 2. It will automatically put them in order for you. So you can create a user book like that. We're creating one by words like a dictionary. The, I've got the new user book window open now. User book untitled. I just clicked on words like a dictionary and it opened this. Okay, this is the user book toolbar. And when I click on the round blue eye, that opens up book properties. And I'm going to title this user book Greek Words. And I'll put it in the topics folder, the topics category. What this means is when I open my user books over here in the resource panel, then I'll see that in the topics folder. I'll see that it's right there it is, Greek words. That's where it will store. If you didn't uh, have a category, it would just show, show it over here and list Greek words user, user books. I mean Greek words. Okay, now I'm ready to begin making this user book. The way to add your items in is by clicking on New Article. This About, uh, that's, you know, the main uh, tree, the root of the tree here. If I click on New Article, uh, then I could put the word in, and we're also going to do a sub-article. So the way we're laying out this particular user book of Greek words is that the article title, we're going to put the word in Greek, not Greek font, but a transliterated Greek word. So we'll put the word in, and the sub-article will be a short English definition of the Greek word. Once we get uh, that in, we'll have a notepad for the Greek word, and we'll have a notepad for the English meaning of the word. 
and we'll use those notepads. So the first thing I'll do is get the information for it. So I have the first word in the CBL Greek Grammar Index is the word agathos. Agathos. It means good or upright. So I want to add this word in. So I'm just going to copy it from here. I'll copy. Uh, and then I want to go to Strong's Concordance and type in good because I also want to get to my um, uh, Strong's number. So here is the word agathos, agathos, and the Strong's number is G18. So when I click on that, then that takes me to the Strong's dictionary, and then I can uh, get um, a page, you know, telling me more about this word with the definition and what words were used from that Strong's number. Okay, I copied the Greek word agathos, and I'm going to come over here and click on New Article, and I'm going to paste it in as the article title, and then the sub-article I want to put in good, comma, upright. So the title is the Greek word, the sub-article is the English word, the meaning of the Greek word, and I'll click on OK. OK, now over here in the user book, I have agathos and good and upright. OK, for agathos, I want to find some verses that uh, have the Strong's number G18 as the root word. So in order to do that, I'll right click on G18 and I'll search in the King James. I'm going to search. You can search the New American Standard or the Holman Christian Standard. Those three Bibles. I'll search the King James for some um, verses that use the word agathos in there. Okay, and I get quite a few. That's probably uh, more really than I want. So I'll clear all my boxes and then I'll just go through if I had more time right now, I would read each one of these verses and um, be a little bit more selective. But right now, I'm just going to uh, select a few out of some different books. So you might want to select maybe 20, 20 verses, um, and you could get them you know, out of different books of the Bible. And I'll just, all of these words in red are from the word agathos. And I could come back later and uh, add more to this. This is how many I'll take right now. Okay, I've got those verses selected. Now I'm going to copy, and then I'll go back to the user book. And I want to have this selected, agathos, because it's in the notepad for agathos that I'm going to paste in those verses. So I'll click inside the notepad and then right click and paste. And now I've got all those verses copied in. So I know that each one of these verses um, has the word agathos as the Greek word for uh, the word good, example, uh, right there, for the word good. Okay, now I want to get to the notepad for the English definition, good and upright. So I'll select it, then here's my notepad for that. What we want to put in the notepad is a definition of the word. So I'll just copy from Strong's. I'll just select this whole page from Strong's, and then I'll right click and copy, and then click inside the window here, and notice I've got good and upright selected, so this notepad refers to good and upright, and I'll right click and paste. And now this is some information so I can study the word meaning more in depth. I'm also going to go to the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, 
and I want to take that information in also uh, into the notepad. So I'll start right here and I'll just copy um, this. I'll go ahead and I'll go right down to here and I'll right click and copy. I could take all of this in because it's a family of words uh, so I, I could even take all of that in and that's your choice on how much you want to put in the definition area of this. If you have other books in your library, other word study books, you may want to go more in depth uh, with this and paste in more word study type information. Okay, now I'm ready to go to the second word. So I'm going to click on About and then I'll go back to my CBL index and the next word is um, right here, A-G-A-P-A-O. So I want, I'm going to uh, get this copied, right click and copy and this is to love. So to find that for my Strong's number, these numbers are not Strong's numbers, so to, so to find this for my Strong's number, I will put love and uh, I want um, this one right here, G25. So I'll select that and that takes me into Strong's. And you can always click on the speaker in your Strong's Talking to get the pronunciation. Agapao. Agapao. Okay, so I copied Agapao. So now I'm going to go over to my user book and put this word in. So I'll click on About and then New Article. And in the article title, I'll right click and paste. And then the subtitle we're going to put in what this word means and we're going to put I'm going to put to uh, I'll leave that in small letters to love and I'll click on the OK and now I've got the second word here I've got two words okay what under um, agapao if I click on that, this is my notepad for Agapao. I want to put with Agapao verses from the Bible that have Agapao as the Greek word. The way to get those is to right click on the Strong's number and then I can search for I'll search in the King James and I have a hundred and nine verses. So just for the sake of time, I'm just going to take um, about two or three in there right now and I'll come back later and um, collect my verses. So I'll click on copy and then minimize my search results window. And now I'm I want to be on Agapao, right there, and then click on the notepad, right click and paste, and paste those verses in. The first one comes in with a link. If you want to get rid of that link, just put your cursor right at the end and then backspace once, and that takes the link away. Okay, so I've got the verses. And the next thing I want to do is click on the English word, select the English word to love, and then that's where I'm going to put a more extended definition. So I'm in the Strong's. I can just take all of this, Control A, Control C, and then I'll uh, paste the information in, and then I'm going to go to the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament and um, I'll take in, I could take all of this in or I could be, I could just um, be selective here and take part of it in. I think I'll just take all of this because uh, this is um, such a major um, word in the Bible, a major concept, a major commandment really. Okay, and I'll just paste all of that in. 
Okay, so now I've got those first two words in there. And to continue on with this, just go to the next word, agape. Uh, go type love in the Strong's Concordance, and you want the Strong's number for agape, and you would just continue on. The user book automatically saves. There's no place to choose to save it. It's going to automatically save into your user book section. If you want to um, add anything later, you just, like if I wanted to add something to Good and Upright, we just go there and then I could edit this or add something else in. But just continuing to add all of the words in, they'll add in in alphabetical order. So uh, that is how to use the Greek words user books, user book.